Leah introduces you to a Marine who hit rock bottom but has fought to stand back up. For this local veteran, fighting has been a constant theme. From fighting in combat to fighting for his life when he returned home, now he's fighting in a much more controlled way. There's a sense of focus in the room, a class full of people with different backgrounds. In this group is Kane Marzola. With every kick and punch, he's fighting. We're not fighting to die, we're fighting to survive. You know, we're fighting to live, thrive. He was a junior at Las Vegas High School when he witnessed 9-11 on a classroom TV screen. That moment changed his life. As soon as I saw that the planes crashing into the buildings, it, you know, it struck a nerve in me and and that, that was the day I decided to join the Marine Corps. The following year, he did just that, joining the most decorated unit in Marine Corps history, deploying within months. We only got called out when it was time to fight, and we got called out every day, all day. Combat was a constant. He went on more than 1,000 missions, lost 17 of his fellow Marines, more than half of his unit was awarded a Purple Heart, and that was just his first deployment. He says no Hollywood movie comes close to depicting how bloody and gruesome it was out there in the desert. And we were living in combat outposts. We were getting hit with mortars and rockets all the time. Insurgents trying to, you know, take over the compound like it was it was all out fight. After eight and a half years of active duty, he got out and hit rock bottom, diagnosed with severe PTSD. Man, I blew up all the way to 255 pounds, lost. You know, I got out of the Marine Corps, was, man, just over medicated in so much pain, I couldn't even get up off the couch, suicidal you know, at my darkest moment. His twin brother stepped in, bringing him here to Wand Fight Team and introducing him to cannabis for the first time. Seen a glimpse of, of literally accomplishing my childhood dream of becoming a professional MMA fighter, winning titles, being on billboards around Las Vegas. I saw all of that happening in that one little glimpse. Giving him a new reason to fight, losing 100 pounds and winning two MMA titles. He also now owns his own business, Veterans Vitality, providing CBD to veterans and first responders. Finding these outlets has turned a life that was close to ending to a life worth living. That's the first thing I do when I wake up. So I thank God for giving me another opportunity, and then I try to attack my day. I don't let my day attack me, you know? With a punch, a kick, fighting for his future. Leo Pizzetti, 13 Action News. All right, again, we're going to be recognizing a new veteran every Wednesday on Good Morning Las Vegas at 6 a.m. If there's someone you think we should feature on Veterans Voice, let us know about it. Send your nominees to desk at KTNV.com. We're so grateful yeah. to all of our veterans, and we're honored to be showcasing them.